Hi and welcome back to my devlog series. Today is Monday and this week we are going to be working on implementing a catapult and a castle, but first off I want to work a bit on the map generation leading up to the actual castle. So once you go past the first night, there's going to be even more knights and archers trying to stop you and you're gonna have to fight your way through all of them and eventually reach the castle. Now I haven't drawn the castle yet, but I've made like the camera movement so it kind of zooms out and you can see everything going out. So eventually I will draw the castle and put some archers on top of it and then you're gonna have to try and somehow infiltrate the castle. But I'm gonna go study a bit for my upcoming exams and hit the sack and then tomorrow I'll be back and hopefully get the catapult and the castle working. It's Tuesday and I've started off the day by just drawing the actual castle. I then put it into Unity and gave it a little drawbridge that slightly moves and is being held up by a rope so you can't actually just walk into the castle. And now we just need to place some archers on the wall, make a catapult and then we should be golden. Then I put together the actual catapult, though it doesn't work yet, I've just kind of made a catapult. And I know some sort of medieval catapult expert is going to watch my video and shit all over my catapult because it's not historically accurate, but please have mercy on my soul. And then I decided to make the first animated emoji for my Discord server because why not? It's called Donny Dab, it's, it's me dabbing, yeah. After that, I experimented a bit with the catapult, just to kind of see how it would work. Uh, it doesn't actually work in game yet, this is just me manually making the catapult work. Yeah, I just need to adjust the speed values a bit, just, just a tiny bit, just a wee bit. But that is going to be everything I had time for today. I'm gonna go meet up with my friend, hit the gym, and then hit the sack. It is Wednesday, my dudes, and it's time to get the catapult working. We need to give the players the ability to press a button and then launch the catapult and eventually fly into the castle. Now this is fairly simple to do because I already have an interactable script that I can just derive from and simply make it work. So I put together a quick catapult script, but I couldn't seem to get it working for the longest time until I realized that I didn't put the catapult script on the catapult. I'm done facepalming, I've now put the catapult script on the catapult, which is a relatively good idea, and holy shit, it actually works. And if I may say so myself, that was, that was quite beautiful. Now we just need to make it reset so you can launch again in case you fail, which is probably gonna happen a lot, and then we should be good to go. And here it is, by checking the angle of the catapult arm, I can now determine if we're ready to launch again, and you can use the catapult as many times as you want to. Now you might notice that we kind of hit an invisible wall. I have uh, quite a bit of history with invisible walls, but I'll be able to fix that very soon. For now, I'm happy that the catapult works and um, yeah. I've also fixed the hitboxes of the castle and put a little archer on top and made it so you can go and infiltrate the castle through the window. But that is going to be everything I had time for today. I'm now gonna go study a bit more for my exams and then hit the sack. It's Thursday and today I've just been working on implementing the castle and actually putting it in the second stage so that it will always spawn in the end. I've also worked on a couple of small details. So once you make it to the castle, the weird guy is there and he will tell you that to proceed you need to enter through the castle window. Now this might not be that obvious and that's why I put him there so he can kind of give you some pointers as to what you need to do once you uh, throw the archers off the wall. I also had some issues with trees and other things spawning on top of the castle which gave some kind of weird results, but eventually I managed to fix that and nothing should spawn on top of the castle anymore. Now I'm just gonna work on a little list of bugs and issues that I have currently and once I'm done with those, uh, it should work a bit better. That's going to be everything I had time for today though, I'm now gonna go study a bit for my exams and guess what just came in my mail. I've ordered a proper windscreen for my microphone because previously I was using a sock which isn't really a very qualified pop filter. So yeah, with some of the money that I've gotten from my Patreon supporters, I've now put that into buying a proper uh, pop filter or windscreen which should make the audio quality a bit better and I don't have to put a sock on my microphone which also looks a bit more professional, I would say. So yeah.
It's Friday and today I'm going to be working on making the stages come together better. So first off, instead of just randomly being thrown to the next stage, you now have to press a button to proceed. This is just to make sure you're actually done with the stage before being thrown to the next stage, so you kind of have a choice. Then I worked on making it so you have to wait for all players to enter the final area before you can proceed. So there's a little counter thing that tells you how many players there are currently in the zone and then if not everyone is there you have to wait for them before you can move on. I've also just worked on making the castle stage a bit better so thieves will no longer spawn but there will be more knights and more archers uh, on the way to the castle. Uh, though I still have some issues with the actual castle where some of the background is clipping so we need to fix that real quick. So the background has been fixed and will no longer do the clipping. Then I made it so the castle walls fade when you enter the castle so you can kind of tell that you're inside. Now I just need to make the next level thingy there so you can actually proceed to the next level and we should be good. So I just simply had to copy the next level thing from the previous level and everything is working just fine now. Except for the fact that you can't actually move to the next stage, so it's not really working fine. But that's probably an easy fix. I'm now gonna go meet up with my friend, hit the gym, hit some schoolwork and then hit the sack and continue tomorrow. It's Saturday today and I want to work on something a bit different today because I just need to get my head off all of the programming. So we're making a very, very, very basic menu. Everything here is placeholder, so you don't need to comment that it looks terrible because I know it looks terrible but I'm not really going to bother fixing too much of it now. That being said, here is the very first prototype, so you can select a few different things and if you hit play you can select between story and versus mode. Story mode is obviously the one that I'm currently working on and later on I want to implement a versus mode so you can play versus your friends. I'll probably also add some minigames but that's more for later on when I'm closer to launch. Anyway, when you go to story you can select worlds, for now there's only medieval worlds uh, that's actually playable but later on there will be more like wild west and space. And, and I don't know, a lot of different things. So here's just a super rough sketch of kind of how I want the menu to look. So uh, you have your achievements and your settings uh, and you can unlock, you know, helmets and hats and whatever and XP. Uh, and then you have your character and you can change the hat and the color. Um, and you can also see the level and then you can kind of choose what you want to play. So, you know, story versus or mini games. Um, you know, so it's, it's just a super rough sketch, but it's kind of the thing I want, I guess. I don't really know. I, I don't know what I'm doing. So I just very quickly put that sketch to life, and this is sort of what it looks like. Obviously, again, this is not final. I'm probably going to change it around a lot closer to launch or whatever when I actually have more to show, because currently there isn't even the first story mode available yet. So, um, yeah, but it, it's just fun to kind of sketch it out and, and see how it looks uh, when you put it into the game. But that's going to be everything I had time for today. I'm going to go read some more for my exams and then hit the sack. It's Sunday and I'll be spending the day editing together this week's devlog episode. Massive shout out to my top supporters on Patreon, Harper Wright and Soap Turtle, and of course everyone else. Also, massive thank you to everyone who's made fan art. I'm still trying to show all of it, but there's just so much. There's like a long queue of fan art. Um, and if you want to post your own fan art, there are links in the description to my Discord server or Twitter or Facebook where you can send me your fan art and I will showcase it most likely in a video. Also, as mentioned, I have my two final exams coming up in about one and a half weeks. So I'll be focusing a lot on just school and stuff. So there won't probably be no devlog for like one or two weeks i'm not quite sure yet so i'll just be focusing on school and maybe some side projects so there might be some other small or big videos coming in one or two weeks i'm not sure yet so we'll see that's gonna be a lot of fun i have a lot of cool projects coming by the way there's a lot of cool stuff so uh yeah look out for those i've posted some of it on twitter and discord so i mean just saying you you could you could check him out it's it's pretty cool we we've got we've got cookies we've got a cool community we've got um i don't really know we we have dabs dabs dude you better jump in a discord and dab so yeah thank you for watching this video i'll just probably show some more fan art and then go hit the sack thanks for watching